Good afternoon. I just got back from a trip to Chicago and while I was there I went to Yvonne Reese and Co which is the oldest pipe tobacco retailer in the country while I was there I picked up some cool stuff and learned a fun fact The fun fact is that I've been lighting my pipes wrong this whole time. I don't know if you've all noticed, but the longer I have a pipe, typically the darker the rim gets around the bowl there, specifically right near the back there. And that's because I'm lighting my pipe at an angle like so which causes the flame to uh, scorch the top of the bowl. So the guy there told me instead of doing that, just simply hold it straight while you're lighting it. and you shouldn't have that problem nearly as bad. In case you're wondering, this is what their little logo looks like. And just, I wish I'd been able to get a video or something while I was there, because their selection of not just tobaccos, but of actual pipes was incredible. It was amazing. It's probably like four, four times as large as any of the shops in Omaha. It's incredible. I ended up grabbing this, which is a little Savinelli pipe. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it. But, um, a Savinelli Marte. I think it's a 106 or something like that. Which they have on sale. And then I also grabbed a couple tins of tobacco, one of which is Old Ironsides. Which I'm going to be doing a review for today. It is a Radakia in Virginia Lake. Now we'll show you the side here. Very interesting little flakes. See how short that is? It's really short and fat. Most flakes I've seen are longer than this. Just an interesting presentation. You can see the different tobaccos standing out against each other. I think they're using a Red Virginia. Yeah. It smells exactly as you would imagine a blend of those two tobaccos would smell, so equal mixture of earthy campfire, equal mixture of vinegar, basically. Sweet, tangy vinegar. Um, and it, that's it, like the smell is not complicated to me. The Latakia is more dominant than the Virginia. 
both in the smell and in the flavor. The flavor is very enjoyable. You don't often see a mixture that is just those two tobaccos. Usually it's as part of an English mix, you would see those two. This is just just those. Um, so I think if you are a Virginia lover and you're kind of wanting to expand into English blends or Latakia, um, this would be a good start. And the reverse is true for English smokers who are looking to get into Virginia's. It's kind of dusty. Flavor a little bit. It's a little bit dusty. A um, little bit dry. Um, very very musky this is a very good like rainy day or winter tobacco I think the Virginia is not as potent like I said as the Latakia um, right when I first tried it I couldn't really distinguish the Virginia until I was about halfway through the bowl and then it really started coming through but after several bowls of it um, I can taste that Virginia straight up front now um, and the mix of these two tobaccos is very very interesting it's intriguing I like I'm starting to like Virginia's more as I try more of them, um, and I've always liked Latakia, so just finding a good mix of the two of them is quite lovely. It's not complicated, it's not super nuanced. If you're familiar with the flavor of Latakia and Virginia, you can pretty much imagine how this would taste. For those who are not familiar with either of those super well, the Latakia tastes like a campfire smells very smoky, very earthy, um, very dirty, kind of. Um, and the Virginia tastes very bright and grassy and sweet and tangy. And they both taste very natural in their own way. Um, very much like something from the earth. But anyway, that's my review for Old Ironsides. A look at my new Savinelli pipe. And a brief overview of Yvonne Reese and Co. Pet Tobacco Shop. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.